So in this session we will be seeing what is mock server and how it helps in SAP UI 5. So let us just start. So here, here is the agenda. So first I will cover the overview of mock server and then I will just cover what are the files required for mock server and then how they are implemented and la at last I will just show an, an example on the mock server itself. Now here we will see the, this is the mock server overview. So what is mock server used for? So basically if we have data coming from real end, real data server, so if that fails, so what should be the next? So we are creating here a mock server. So thereby it is created at the system level itself for local use and no actual server is involved in it. So since it is for local use, so it can be used for testing and development purposes. So basically what it does is it imitates the OData backend calls and it provides a fake output for, by the name mock server we could also imagine it it provides a fake output so basically how this is the this statement is required to define the mock server jquery.sap.require and this is our code for mock server so here you could see this is the project structure and we are creating a local service folder within the web app plus we are creating a test folder and within this test folder we will create mock server.html file and within the local service we will create metadata.xml and mock server.js file. Moreover we will be also creating this mock data folder in which we will be providing our JSON files. All the mock data will be provided in the mock data. So let us just go through all the files required. So I have already told you so these four files are required mock data, metadata and mock server.js and mock, mock server.html. So let us now go to the next slide. So as I told you four files are required. The first one is the mock server.html. So mock server.html file is similar to index.html file itself. So there are some basic differences that is one we have to provide the path for the mock server.js file. And second, we can also change the title. So the first one was the to provide the path and second one which is the optional one that we can also change the title. And then this folder, this file is uh, contained in the test folder within the web content. Now from this point onwards when we have created our mock server and all, so we have two entry points into our web application. The first one is index.html through which we could run our mock server, the OData service that we are getting and through the mock server .html, we could run our mock data. Now, now going to the next slide, so let me just go, this first one was the mock server .html file, the second is the metadata .xml. So metadata .xml, what it is? So it contains information about the service interface itself. So we do not need to write manually anything into the metadata.xml file. So we have this OData service which is a URL itself. So at the end we just place dollar metadata. So all the metadata of the particular OData service is appearing here. We just copy it and paste it in the metadata.xml file. So that is it. So suppose for example this is our OData URL till here. So we are placing slash dollar metadata and afterwards we will get the metadata of the OData service. Then we create a local service folder as I already told you and within this local service folder we will place our metadata.xml file, that is it. So the third file that is required is mock data. So we will be placing our JSON files in the mock data folder and this mock data folder will be placed in the local service folder, that is it. And what is this mock data? We create some JSON mock data files either manually or use the SAP Web ID feature. So SAP Web ID has provided this feature that it generally creates this mock data by itself and we could use that functionality in our mock data itself. So here we are also placing the JSON files in the mock data and mock data folder is placed in the local service. Now let us take a look at the fourth step. The fourth step is mock server.js. This file is very important. 
let me just show you how it looks. So this is an example here. So first we are loading the mock server URL module and then we are placing our URL in the mock server config. So this is our URL you could see. Now this URL would be used and when this is used we set the configuration parameters here and we are just delaying it 1000 millisecond which is equals to 1 second itself and then and this is provided here. So here we, are, we have taken this variable s path and we are using it jquery.sap.getmodule path. So here we are providing the path for our local service. So demo project 2 this is our project's name or maybe our namespace itself and local service is the folder and within this folder we have this metadata.xml file and with, within the local service we have this mock data. So we actually are giving the path here to the metadata and the mock data itself and at the last we are just starting our mock server. So this was regarding the mock, mock server.js file. Now let us just take a look at the implementation here. We have already looked at all the implementation just I am going through it very quickly here now. So mock server.html file is similar to index.html file and metadata.xml file we can use metadata using dollar metadata at the end of the odata URL and the mock data we can create manually or automatically using the odata service that would be would be provided in the data JSON in the format JSON format and now at the last mock server.js that we have already seen in the previous slide. Now going through the next slide so here I have explained the mock server. So for that I have created a new SAP UIFI project. I have created two new folders in the web app that is local service and the test and within this local service I am maintaining the mock data folder metadata.xml file and mock server.js file and within this mock data folder we are maintaining all our JSON files and within the test folder here we have maintained our mock server.html file. Now to run the application using mock server what we have to do we have to right click on mock server.html file and just run our application. So we will see all these steps practically in our practical demonstration. Now here we will cover the concept of mock servers in SAP UI 5. So as I al already told you mock servers are just like fake servers they are not in real. So we use them only when the connection to real systems are not okay. So then let me just show you here. So we will be coding in this particular project that is demo project 2. So you would, you would remember in the consuming odata service lesson we have used this particular project where we binded odata service to, to build a list. Let me just show you the output of the this particular project. So here it is. So this was the output of this particular project, demo project 2. So here we were, we were getting a list of products here with the entity set, product set. So what we will do, here this the data is coming from the real service that is real server. Now we will create a mock server and we will put a mock data in this particular list. So what we have to do is first step is to create some basic folders. There are two folders that we have to create local service and test folder in the web app. Let me just create it. This is done and I have to create one more that is test. And within this test folder I will create mock server.html file. maintain this naming convention the capital letters and all and in the local service I have to create three files first file would be metadata.xml this is done then we have to create mock server.js all these naming conventions should be correct that's done and the third one would be mock data. I will create a folder for that 
and inside that mock data we will maintain our JSON files. So mock data, this is the folder name, and inside this mock data we will be creating our JSON files. So let me just show you how to create this mock server.html file. So this is empty. What we will do? We will just open the index.html page. I will just copy the whole and paste it in the mock server.html. So here I will just add this to dots and one slash here that is to find the particular files in the folders. This we are doing that's why. So now I will just change a bit code here. So I have to change this much code. Actually this is just simple and I am just copying this portion and removing this portion from here. Replacing this. I will just make you understand. Here we are using this shell and in the shell we are using this com component container and the, co um, the code that I am going to paste there also we are doing the same itself but just adding this much portion extra. Only this much portion is extra otherwise everything is the same. See here that we are using sap.m.shell we are using the component container similarly here also we are using the shell and the component container but the only change that we are doing is this mock server dot in it. So we, are def we have defined this mock server here this is the mock server and it, its path is defined here. So demo project 2 is my namespace and within this namespace I have this local service folder that is this one and inside this local service I am giving the path to mockserver.js file. So once the control starts from mockserver.html page then it goes to mockserver.js page and I will just tell you in the coding section of mockserver.js file we will take the control to the metadata.xml file and to the mock data. So the flow is something like this. Now we will initialize this mock server here and I think everything else is fine here. We have changed nothing. Let me just change also the title here. So let me just change it to mock data and list. I have saved this. Now the control would starting uh, the control would start from the mock server.html. In the previous where we had this real service, the our control of the application started from index.html. Now we are, when we are running in the mock server, the flow should start from mock server.html. And the, here we have provided the um, we have provided the path to the mock server.js folder. Then once the flow comes here, then it goes to mock server.js. So let me just take you to mock server.js code here. So this is empty. I will just paste it from here. Okay, then I have pasted it. So here we have this module and we have defined the path of mock server and we have defined this in the parameter here and we are maintaining this variable o mock server and here we have provided our destination that is our odata service. So basically we are using this particular odata service that is this one we have already discussed in our previous videos and here we are configuring it to auto respond is true and we are um, maintaining a, a thousand millisecond server delay and in the S path we have given our path that is demo project 2 then local service and when one this once this mock server simulates the path is added to the metadata.xml and the path is also added to the mock data. So basically the flow is coming to mock server.html then through this particular code our flow comes to mock server.js file and from here we are maintaining a flow to metadata.xml file and then to mock data folder which is here. So once this is done we just start our mock server. Now this is done. Now next step is to maintain a metadata.xml file. So this is also empty. Now to fill this code here what we will do we will just 
so this is our OData service that we are getting now to get the metadata what we have to do we have to add dollar metadata in front of this that's it I will just press enter so this is our whole metadata here so I need to just copy this I will just click uh, I will just press control A I will just copy this and just paste it here so it is done so our metadata is also populated but we don't need this first line this is just not not of any use we will just remove this that's it and I will just save it so here our metadata XML file is also created so three of our files are created mockserver.html then mockserver.js then metadata.xml are maintained now we will have to create our JSON file that is mock data for that we will just click on right click on metadata.xml and just edit mock data now our screen is here so now we will just choose our entity set that we have to use so here we were using here we were using the product set entity set that is this one so we were using this particular entity set product set so we will just choose product set and now here we will just click on generate random data we could manually enter all the data but for the sake of simplicity I am just entering the generate random data so that's done I will just click on OK now when we see on in the mock data we will see the product set dot JSON file is already created if I just double click on this I will see this whole data is already created so this is all general data that is coming I will just save this everything is done now if we have to check the data coming from mock server we will just right click on this go to run and then to run with mock data so this screen appears here we will first get a toast yeah running in demo mode with mock data now our list should be populated here is there any error let us just see so there is unexpected token here 55 okay something is unwanted here so basically we have added something extra here I suppose I will just remove this portion from here and save it again hope this time works I'll just close it and just right click on mockserver.html go to run and run with mock data so this is loading here so we could see here large medium small custom we have option to run on all of this so here our product list is maintained here all is uh, list is populated and the data coming from here is from the mock mock data so we could see there is the first one two three four five six seven eight nine and this is the ninth one and this is the tenth one so we have ten data here and when we see our product list product set dot json here also we have ten data since we have maintained in the metadata dot XML. so here we could see product set here we have 10 of these datas so if you just see the real data here here we could see there was this entire list 
and this was coming from the real server and here we could see it is coming from the mock data so I hope this concept is clear with you and that's it for this video thanks for watching